lots of books. <laughs> Uh, I, I think um, uh, at the end of the day, if you're playing uh, a vampire or an astronaut or a baker, um, it's not important what your what you, your occupation is or what you are. It's, it's the interactions you have with other characters that makes that story essentially. So you know, um, we all have interactions in our own lives. We all have uh, our own issues and our own demons, and we also have our own sort of strengths. You know, I think particularly you know uh, my character. Uh, I've got lots of demons. I've got, I've got a cupboard full of them. Yeah. That's the, the second press conference. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I think um, I think you know it's understanding how your character fits into that world, which is important. How he interacts with that world, which you sort of discover. Um, you know, particularly my character is, I guess, in a, in a, in a position of sort of isolation and neglect. Uh, so his reaction to that is, is how how he sort of interacts with the world. Um, so. It's more or less understanding that, and less understanding like the, um, the characters of Empire. But I think the thing I have most in common to answer your question with my character is that uh, he is single, and uh, I am single. <laughs> so I can feel his pain. And maybe he kicks a chair and breaks something or kills someone out of frustration of being single, and I totally get that. <laughs> As you know, it's not funny. 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 Last question, please. There's only one. Better make a good question. Better make a good question. Better make a good question. What's your favorite book when you are a teenager? When you were teenagers? You remember? Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Um, man. Wow, there's so many of them. I mean, when, when you're really young, much younger, you read, you know, books like Catcher in the Rye and a lot of a lot of uh, the old, the classics, the teenage classics. I, I was, I kind of had two, two moms, and my other mom was my manager when I was very young, and she gave me this book when I was 16. Uh, they actually made a movie about it. It was called Way of the Peaceful Warrior. I'm sure you know that book. Dan Melman. It's a phenomenal writer, particularly for young people. And uh, I remember being 16 years old and reading that book, and not being able to put it down, just it's such a such a wealth of information and excuse me insight and um, it was pretty incredible. What about you? Uh, Is it some Jane Austen novel? No, actually, I think that's you know why I feel so honored to be a part of the Vampire Diaries because when I was a teenager, I mean, I loved the whole the young adult series and the, the Harry Potters and all of that. So I mean, I definitely loved like fantasy and getting lost in a completely different world, a mythical world, so. It's a good like world. That, yeah. It's a good world for younger people to go into yeah. uh, because it really uses your imagination. I mean, I was reading Nietzsche at 16 and Freud and Bertrand Russell and Joseph Campbell. I was a very heavy kid. And so reading things like, um, yeah, the, the Tolkien books were amazing. Yeah. And uh, the Way of the Peaceful Warriors for young teens is a really solid Thing that's the way to go. What about you, dude? Um, when you were in jail. When I was in jail, <laughs> The Alchemist. Um, the Alchemist wasn't out then. No, yeah, you were in jail last I year. I wrote it. Um, I was writing in jail. Um, uh, I, I actually grew up, uh, you know, and I, I really responded to, uh, you know, uh, big books. So it was, it was actually Lord of the Rings, because I thought if I just read one book, It'll be this one because it was so big. And I remember I read The Hobbit first, and it was like this big thing. And, and the thing that caught me uh, was uh, when I was a kid, I, I bought this. I actually stole it from the library, so don't tell them. Let's just remove that from the interview. Um, but the cover had this image uh, of, of this uh, this place that doesn't exist, obviously. Um, and I sort of got lost in this idea of going into another world. And I think that's what I respond to with, with acting so much is that. Uh, it all allows us to go into another world and escape our own world. And uh, you know, often people ask me what characters I like to play, and uh, my response is something that's so far from my world that I'll never really, really experience that. So I think the idea of playing a vampire is really, really interesting because it opens up uh, your thought process of like, how does my character see the world differently uh, to, 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 to the way I see the world? You know, um, I remember when I first got the role um, of Cole. I think I was walking down a dark alley in LA, and uh, I don't know why, why? I was by myself because I don't have a lot of friends in LA. That's alright, I get it. I'm playing the same guy here today. No girlfriend. It's not attractive. It's not attractive. <laughs> 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 I 
choked him. No, it's it's not a choke. It's a penny bargain. I have so much money I don't know what to do with it. Um, <laughs> so I was walking down this dark street. I was just not attractive. Not also not attractive. I had no money, you know, but I'm a great cook. There you go. No, that's right. <laughs> uh, so I'm walking down this, this dark alley in Los Angeles and I just after I got the role. And for some reason, I, I, I sometimes I get a little bit method with my characters, and I was like, what would that be like if I was a vampire right now? And there was a, kind of like some shady guys there, and normally I'd be quite, oh, you know, this is not good, Wait, let's hide my wallet, my wallet in my underpants, just in case I get mugged. Um, but for this occasion, I walked like as if, as if I was a vampire, and I was like, I've got no fear. Like, I'll jump on you, I'll eat your neck, and da 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 And it's kind of interesting, because you start seeing through your character's eyes, and, and you can start relating to their world, and how they see things coming <coughs> to you, and that's what I sort of love. And the books that I would read as a kid were books that would take me away from my own world and something that I could never, never experience. And that's a very, very long answer to a very, very simple question. <laughs> yeah. okay. Thank you guys so much. That's it? Thank you. Thank you for wasting your time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we get a bonus question? Does anyone want to get a bonus question? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Where is cold? Where is cold? Yeah. In the hearts and minds of every citizen of the world. <laughs> Um, he's resting in a, in a better place. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good question. Good question. Any others? Any others? Resting in a better place. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Guys, thank, thank you so much, truly. Enjoy the day. You too. <laughs> Always.